positive things about the Fringe and Festival is the number of unusual, innovative productions all in one city at the same time. One of the biggest is Faust, a tale of torture, orgies and deals with the devil. Every year in Edinburgh, one performance stands out from the crowd. And in 2009, it's the International Festival's colossal staging of Faust. Internationally renowned Romanian theatre director Silvio Perseretti has brought his extravagant adaptation of Goethe's classic to the UK for the first time. We were really obsessed because it's a wonderful text. It's a very challenging universe to describe. It's a legendary tale of morality and obsession in which the central figure, Faust's disillusion with worldly learning, leads him to make the ultimate sacrifice, entering into a pact with the menacing Mephistopheles, the devil. What's so astonishing about Perseretti's reimagining of Faust is its sheer scale. It's unashamedly massive. It's an epic story and I, I think it was necessary to make it at least at this, this scale. The original text is huge. There are hundreds, thousands of, of characters. This is not a large-scale production. It can be even larger if we are we're, uh, very careful to the, to the text. It's so big it's having to be staged on the outskirts of the city in one of the few venues that could fit its ambitions. There's a cast of over 100, a crew of 110 and even the odd rhinoceros. It's more a pleasure to work with such a, a great number of, uh, of, of actors. So there is a, a big family, people that I know, we've worked together, and it's not so complicated, in fact. Sometimes it's quite pleasant. It's like a game, like children playing. Because this is a, a unique experience for, for them, and they are very happy to be in Edinburgh. As well as the enormous cast, the set is a monster and is sure to become one of the talking points of this year's festival. We didn't uh, envisage it from the very beginning as being a mobile theatre. It was never meant to, to, to be moved or to be taken somewhere else. It, this was uh, something that I thought would never, would never realise, would never come true. And the big sets when you have a lot of technical possibilities, then you have lots of liberty. For really big sets, you can play. It's like uh, it's like a film set, if you will. You can invent a lot. You can invent during the reversals. During the performance, the massive set opens to reveal an even bigger nightmarish vision of hell. One which the audience, as well as Faust, are dragged into being an adventure of, of spirit and of illusion, uh, like a dream. So we tried to, to drag the audience for some minutes into this kind of dream he has, or his, this nightmare. We, we treated the story of Faust as a, was in terms of theatrical illusion. So uh, elements of theatre are the bricks of of his spiritual experience and the meeting with Mephistopheles is meeting with the spirit of theatre who is cheating and sometimes telling the truth. One startling element of Perseretti's adaptation has been the casting with the role of Mephistopheles being taken by a female actor. We casted an, a female actress because uh, uh, the character should be androgynous and there is some kind of, indeed, love relationship between these two characters and there is the, the ambiguity of the relationship is more obvious. Two 
brilliant actors. One is more aged, another is, is, is younger. There is a big effort. It's a physical effort, but more intellectual effort. They are very professional. With the size of Faust, it's understandable that her Romanian crew are wary about its UK debut. And we all hope that we won't have any sort of major problems. We're still awfully nervous. Obviously, sometimes little technical accidents uh, happen because you can't predict them, especially because it's a space where I've never actually played. I'm always nervous, certainly, but after, after the first night I, I get always detached. So I'm uh, like the, the cuckoo who is abandoning the eggs somehow. So I'm always very, very interested and quite very tense during the, the, the rehearsals and uh, until the, the opening night, but not after. <laughs> This is one of the most important myths of humanity. Being afraid of death is something that is common to all humans. Just show them our Faust. And I hope they'll be interested in, in this show. That's almost all from us tonight, but before we go, a word about the BBC's poetry season. We'd like to know who your favourite poet is. Place your vote at bbc.co.uk slash poetry season 3.0.